Hi, I'm Noelle Randu, real estate millionaire, entrepreneur, and mom of five. And in this interview style episode, I am gonna be talking to Rob Gill of Epic Financial Strategies, talking about how to use life insurance to really build wealth. Rob Gill is gonna show you and talk to us about how you can build wealth even if you don't have a lot of money. Let's go. Noel. Yeah, she can fix that. If you gotta get it done, no, you need to do it better. Well, she can fix that. Yeah, she can fix that. Investment to get back, trying to get a big stack. She can fix that. Let's fix that. I am so excited today to be here with Rob Gill. He is an amazing entrepreneur and uses insurance to deal with real estate and create wealth. And insurance is a great way to create wealth. And I'm so excited to have this conversation. So first of all, we are going to get right into it. Rob Gill, you are going to tell people, how do you create wealth with insurance? Like, how do we do that? Let's get right into it. Well, first of all, Noel, I just want to thank you so much. Your reputation precedes you. I'm so grateful to be on this call right now. I can't express that uh, when we look at cash value, dividend paying, customized life insurance, we design it specific for um, the individual's need, whether they're an entrepreneur, corporate executive, family oriented person. And we customize it based on, hey, what is their core value? What are their goals and objectives? What are they looking to accomplish? What is their economic philosophy and emotional philosophy when it comes to money? And then once we understand that, the team here at Epic, what then we begin to do is really create the strategy that utilizes the life insurance plan as a Swiss army knife that allows each and every one of these folks to be able to get multiple rates of return off of the same dollar by running money through the insurance, leveraging the insurance to buy real estate or any other alternative investment that's out there. I absolutely love it. So you said something powerful there and I want you to kind of explain it because people are going to love this and I want us to really unlock the power of insurance for creating wealth. So you said this is like the Swiss army knife of investing. Talk about that. What does that mean? Yeah. So if, if you look at um, there's in the, in the financial world, there's a bunch of different products that are based on a bunch of different opinions. And when you look at the insurance and, and insurance is, you know, three, four, 500 years old, if you look at the main carriers, you know, they've been around for about 150 years, but back in the day, when people came over from England to the United States, they used to have insurance on the ships, right? So mm. that's when it was really born. But if you look at and inherent to the insurance carriers themselves, this is an important distinction. Uh, they give you, based on contract and state law, a guarantee rate of return. So no matter what happens with the stock market, up or down, whatever happens in real estate, up or down, the money in the insurance is getting a guarantee. So approximately 4% plus a dividend. And as you begin to run money through your insurance plan, it builds up cash value. And the Swiss Army knife means, hey, as your cash value is growing, if you want to borrow from your policy, let's say to go buy, I don't know, I'll just say a $200,000 piece of property, and mm -hmm. you need $40,000 down to buy that property, you yeah. would leverage money from your insurance, use that as a down payment on your property. Now, your property is going to, and you know this, Noel, is going to give you four rates of return, which is not only cash flow, uh, you would get a mortgage interest write off. Obviously, right. you appreciate the asset on your tax return. And last but not least, you're not buying the property today because of the future you want it to go down. You're buying it because you think it's going to go higher. Inject life insurance into that mosaic. You now pick up the rates of return inside the life insurance policy, which is not only the rate of return internally on the cash value, you also get a dividend. And now the money used as the down payment for the real estate, the renter now pays back the policy. And on that small piece, it mimics exactly what a bank does with a mortgage. Okay. Wow. You said a lot there. And again, this is super powerful. So I, cause I, I've, I've always been interested in this. So I've been doing real estate for many years and I've done the IRA thing, the self-directed IRA, but I really have not dabbled the way that I want to in this insurance thing. So for me, you know, not even just for my audience, for me, explain how we would, I would get started. Just tell me how Noel would get started. I want to do this. I want to get some real estate going. How do I do it? Yeah, so Noel, one of the things that we would do is take you through our cash flow analysis conversation. And that's okay. figuring out money in, money out. Take a look to see if there's any financial leakage going on because there's leakage all over the place, right? Right. Recapture that leakage so we could show you how we could actually ha have you save money. Once we understand what that is, we would then have a nurse come by. They would do a medical. It takes about 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes. It depends on what we're looking to do. There would be a, um, a, a blood sample, a medical sample, and a urine sample. That's the money train you hear in the background. 
And what that means is uh, once you go through what they call medical underwriting, financial underwriting, we're going to put the package together as well. And then it takes anywhere between two to eight weeks from hello to approval. Okay. I love it. Okay, so now I'm approved because I'm healthy, you know, just turned 40. I, you know, I do a little bit. I'm a little healthy. And so I'm through this medical situation. My finances are fine. I have my properties. I file my taxes. And now I want to buy some real estate because I do. This is truly what I want to do. Now what? So as you know, a romance without a finance is a nuisance. So we want to make sure that we understand that as we go through the success process. What will happen is we'll figure out what your monthly let's call it pay yourself first savings goal would be no different okay. than if people put money away for an IRA or 401k, except maybe mm -hmm. we'll shift that thinking into the baseline of the premium. And then you may have an extra 10, 20, $30,000 that you may want to dump into the policy only to borrow it out to go buy the real estate with that down payment. And that's really how it would start and how we would get the ball rolling. Okay, so let's 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 play this because I, I'm 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 very serious and like I said I, I love what your your company does and Epic or is Epic you know what I mean you guys are Epic so I I say I have let's let's go with I got an extra thirty grand eh, let's pretend as if I actually have thirty grand and I have this extra and I want to use it and buy some real estate now how how do I do it because I know how to do it with the IRA and it was for benefit of and I have to buy a specific property any nuances or anything that I should know about with this insurance thing. Yeah. So as you know, if you bought it through the self-directed IRA, the tax consequences in her and that IRA then shift over to the real estate that you're buying within that IRA. Right. So there's no depreciation. There's no more. You know, the, the, it's a different it's a different look, although people do it because they may not necessarily have the money to go buy the real estate, but they have a whole bunch of money inside the IRA. This is right. different because it's outside of the IRA. It's your individually mm -hmm. as a human being and or your corporation is owning the real estate. So, hey, listen, if you dump an extra 30, 40, 50 grand in there, within 20 to 30 days, you can leverage 95% of that out as your down payment on the real estate. And once again, have your renter pay back the policy. And now you create um, the ability for your money to move through and in and out of different asset classes, which allows you to stay ahead of taxation, inflation, lost opportunity cost on those taxes and potential inflation and really puts money back into your pocket where it really belongs. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. So again, I, I, I'm almost like my mind is blown almost with all of what you're saying because I'm like, whoa, I'm, I'm really missing out here on, on some real benefits. So I, I'm starting to see, because I have a lot of millionaire friends. I'm kind of new to the whole money thing. I'm, I'm what they would say, new money. I, I just have a little bit. So how are people, you know, like I, I see that there's, there's millionaires that buy life insurance just to build wealth. Talk to me about that. Yeah. So what we were just getting into this is the Swiss Army knife using um, the life insurance where you may see these books about becoming your own bank. I just kind of gave you yeah. a quick analogy there. Yeah, that, that's the thing. So if we shift, if we shift that conversation now to let's call it the, the wealthy, the millionaires, um, what a lot of millionaires like to do based on my, my experience is they understand the power of diversifying within and amongst different asset classes. Notice that I'm not saying diversifying in the stock market, but different asset classes. One would be real estate, one could be the stock market, another could be life insurance, and or folks that really reach that millionaire status typically have their own businesses, right? So when people have their own businesses, they wanna make sure that they're parking a portion of their money that's in guarantees and has a long-term perspective. And a lot of millionaires like to generate that wealth and maintain it to the next generation by doing proper planning. And that's why you're gonna see a lot of millionaires do extra funded into these policies because they want to make sure that they have that bank of money, especially when economic winter comes our way, like we just saw in the last 12 months. And it yeah. came seemingly out of nowhere. There wasn't a calamity bell warning. There wasn't a knock on the door that, hey, next Thursday at eight o'clock, COVID-19 is going to start. But what yeah. I can tell you, Noel, is the folks that had money that was in cash or cash value, I should say, not in cash and in right. proper products, they were able to maximize on all different opportunities over the last 12 months in ways that in my life I've never seen before. Whoa, Rob just made an amazing point talking about diversification of assets. So let me break this down in a very simple manner. What Rob is really saying from my perspective is just talking about getting multiple streams of income, which is what I'm always talking to you about. 
you want to make sure that you are diversifying your income and your assets meaning you want to make sure that you have money coming in from multiple different places and multiple different sources let me give you a quick example I'm a real estate entrepreneur but I have a YouTube channel I have a podcast I have books I have long-term rentals I have short-term rentals I have coaching I have multiple streams of income that all derive from real estate even when I did real estate, I did multiple things in real estate. I did wholesaling, I did fix and flips, I had rental properties, I had multiple streams of income coming in from the thing that I did, and this is how you can diversify your assets. So when we're talking about assets in general, you wanna just make sure you have multiple streams of income, and when you get more money, you'll even diversify even more. Now back to this episode. Okay, so I gotta ask, tell me how, because I, I did okay during the pandemic, and, and, but I, I obviously I feel like talking to you, I know I have some missed opportunities, and, and you said some really powerful stuff there. So protecting assets, you know, give, give me some, talk about, you know, and creating gener, generational wealth with some of this stuff. How, how, how are you doing that? How do we do that? For all the millionaires out there and potential millionaires, I think the, 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 the challenge is that they may have a bunch of relationships with a bunch of different people based on a bunch of different opinions, but there's really no coordination going on. So it's almost like having a junk drawer of a bunch of different financial products. What we do is we create the fractional family office mindset. Right. Uh, we help folks create their own personal financial website. Right. So the things that, that other people aren't really doing on a high level, we're gonna do through organizing all of their financial data systematically on a daily basis because everything is tied to their financial institutions. Okay, Rob, so what you're saying is so powerful, but it sounds like what you're telling me, if I'm hearing you correctly, is that this is not just about life insurance. This is really about truly wealth building. Am, am I hearing you right? Yeah, so so Rob Gill himself is not a fiduciary, just so we're clear. Epic Financial okay. Strategies is the brand. So we okay. believe that if you use life insurance as the baseline, as the foundation, as the, as the first protection device that you could have with your money, you could then build off there. And yes, buy real estate. You could also finance your own debt. You could put money into businesses. There's many different things that you could do off of your cash value plan and just create systematized ways of making sure that it gets paid back through the investments and the relationships that you create along the way. I love it. I absolutely love it. And of course, you're touching on on my heart is mindset, because in order to even get into a financial position where, you know, all of this stuff matters, you have to have the right money mindset. So um, you, you really touched on something awesome there. So so let me kind of get back to something because you said something really important there. You said, you know, your love of insurance and wanting to protect yourself kind of came from your parents and some of the things that you saw. So tell me how you you you, you coach people and some of the, your best advice about life insurance. Yeah, I think that, you know, my dad, he passed away without life insurance, right? So by the time I got into this arena, he was uninsurable, right? Yeah. Um, as is my mom, who's still alive. And, and when, I think about, um, when I think about people and understanding the word life insurance, which really makes you contemplate your own death, I yeah. try and remove the word and get into the full characteristics of how it fits in to the overall financial mosaic. Right. Financial mosaic, meaning, hey, if I'm a business owner, how can life insurance help it? Boom, 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 boom. If I'm a real estate guru, how can life insurance help it? Boom, boom, boom. Same thing. So it's across the board. And it's not like put all your money in life insurance. It's how does it fit into the overall plan? And how do you strategize on running money through the insurance? So out on the other side, we could play the game of becoming our own bank and creating exceptional wealth with the same dollar because we've established a congruent approach to your money. Becoming a millionaire and making lots of money requires you to be very deliberate. You cannot just haphazardly stumble onto making lots of money. You have to decide that you're going to make a lot of money and start making a way and using some of these strategies that we are teaching you right now. Whether you have a little bit of money or a lot of money, you always start with a little bit of money. Most people do not start off rich. I surely did not. 
I started off in my parents basement broke and with bad credit and now today I'm a millionaire because I have increased my income and started implementing strategies of people that have way more money than I did don't be intimidated by people that have more money than you or are further ahead than you it's absolutely okay you start where you are and you make a decision to make more money and you do not work more hours you start creating multiple streams of income now let's get back to this episode let's talk to the person that's in scarcity that doesn't have much money and they're like oh man you know noelle's rich rob is rich these two aren't really talking to me but if someone doesn't have very much money talk about how this can be a tool for them and what some of the benefits for growing your wealth would be with with these type of tools so that's a great point i'll, I'll tell that person let me let me bring you back to the 26 year old rob gill uh who who that person was making 400 dollars a week and he was working 10 hours a day right so so for someone that we're starting out, and I, and I said this recently somewhere, but there's no such thing as overnight success. And if right. somebody tells you there's overnight success, don't let them in your house. They're going to rob your jewelry. And what I mean by that is it's really important to understand that money mindset is the key before anything else. And to shift your way out of, let's, let's put all the life insurance stuff to the side for a second. You could have a nine to five job. And if you want to be an entrepreneur from six o'clock to 10 o'clock, that's where that time is dedicated. You know, no one's going to come right. here to rescue you, you know, whoever's listening right now. Uh, right. There is no, you know, calamity. There's, there's no like, hey, just go here and on Tuesday, you're going to get $100,000. You have right. to put in the daily practice. You have to put in the daily approach. And you have to begin to learn from giants and step on the shoulders of people that have been there, done that. Model yourself against or with proven winners in that space. And if you begin to model yourself in there, and do what they do, but add 5% to it, you have no choice but to be successful. It's a, it's, a, it's a law of the universe where it will conspire in your favor if you really model with people that have been there, done that for what you're seeking to do. It all starts oh, there. Absolutely. It does. Oh my gosh. You, Rob, you're amazing. You've said some amazing things. So I can tell why you're very successful. I can tell why you're so passionate. I can tell why your clients um, absolutely love you and your company and things of that nature. So this has been an absolutely amazing interview. You've shared so much information. Tell people how they can reach you, how they can get more information. Share that info with us, please. Please, uh, you can check us out at um, our, our epicfinancialstrategies.com, epicfinancialstrategies.com. There's always ways to have direct appointments through there. Uh, we also have a presence, um, which we would really love for, for you folks out there from an educational perspective. Every day we're dropping content and it's Rob Gill dash Epic Financial Strategies on YouTube. And uh, please hit the subscribe button 100 percent. If there's any questions, you can always put questions in there. If you have a specific video you want us to do, we would love to do that. We're here to serve and contribute. And for us, it's about giving. And, you know, obviously with growth comes contribution. And that's what this is about, providing world-class education all the time. And Noel, I can't thank you enough for you to take 30 minutes out of your day and allow me to be on your show. I'm truly amazing. No, Rob, you're amazing. I love what you're teaching. Like I said, I want to learn more about it. I am a perpetual student. So this has been great information for, for me. And I'm definitely going to be continuing to be in contact with you and your group. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Wow, what an amazing episode with so much information. I really appreciate Rob Gill for sharing all of that great information on how to use insurance to build wealth. I absolutely love it and I think you should check out his YouTube channel, Rob Gill at Epic Financial Strategies. I just wanna make sure that you have all of the resources, all of the tools and all of the knowledge that you need to be successful. This is Noel to your success.